All right, what is up everybody? Today we're gonna do some uh, 3D rendering, some capybaras. You know, you gotta pull up to the after party. What better way than with uh, capybaras? Let's get right into it. Okay, I pull up. How about at the after party? Today I'm gonna be using Blender. Uh, I'm right now on Blender 3. Point something. You know, it's free. Give it a download. Shout out Blender. Shout out free software. I think the best place to start with this is uh, some some uh, source material. Doing a little reference research is always always a good thing. Um, I think especially if you're 3D rendering, it's always good to know kind of the form of what you're doing. Uh, here's a good frontal view of a capybara. I think we could give that a save. Well, uh, I'll show you how to get this into Blender in just a bit. I think we should find a few more reference images. Something that uh, I think this gives a good idea of the the form of the capybara. All right. I think I think this is good for now. I think we have the general form down of the capybara. I think it's time to uh, hop into Blender. I think it's going to be really important to uh, have our image of the capybara available for reference. All right, let's go with the uh, general form. All right, so we've got the capybara, and there, there's a few ways we could do this. Um, my preferred way, obviously, delete the default cube. Uh, let's add it back. We're going to want to import this image as a plane, actually. I think that's what we're going to do. Let's just make sure we have this uh, add-on created. If you go to Preferences, and then you search for Images as Planes, yep. You know, if you install a new version of Blender, or if it's your first time installing, you're going to want to enable this. It's a pretty pretty cheeky add-on. Then you're going to go down to Image, Images Plane, find the image you want to add. All right, so it, it'll, it'll uh, load in right there. I think we got to do that. Now, here's the thing. We're in solid mode right now. We got to be in rendered if we want to see it or material preview. Um, let's load up rendered. So we've got our capybara in all of its glory. I'm going to render an EV for now, but I will change it to cycles in just a bit. I think for getting the general form down, this will be, be pretty good. Should I turn the screencast keys on? I think I should. Another little add on for you preferences. Screencast keys. What's it called? Uh, cast. All right, well, this isn't a tutorial for the masses, it's for the cabbie lovers out there. So the first thing we wanna do is just get the general form down, I think. Um, we got the baby cabbie bars over here, but I think I think we're gonna focus on this this guy right here. We're gonna make the body first. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. So let's scale this up until it's a, a good shape. Scale along with the Y axis as well. All right, we're gonna, so we're just gonna block it in first. I think that would be a, a good course of action. Three to select the face, extrude that. Yeah, there we go. We've got the neck of the cappy. I think we're going to extrude that one more time, scale that down. We've got the general face. We're going for a low poly cappy bara here. We've got the general form. It's a little hard to see through to the other side, but we don't really need the other side of the cappy bara right now. In fact, we could actually do a little uh, fanciness here. Put a little loop cut down the middle. Go into edit mode. And we want to get rid of half of it actually so if we go into this little thing right here so we're gonna just delete half of our capybara say goodbye delete the vertices of that now we've got this guy right here so we have half a capybara almost but you'll notice it's hollow we don't really want that so what we're gonna do go to modifiers we're going to add a mirror now we've got a solid a solid boy definitely see the capybara starting to starting to come through Starting to pull up, even. All right, let's add our image back in. I just hit it for a sec. Let's go back to render view. Material preview might actually be a little better for this. More even lighting. It's not it's not round like this this dude over here. So let's go back into edit mode. Add a loop cut. So what we want to do is kind of give this guy a little a little bulbous shape. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna bulbous bulbarize this guy over here. So I'm just gonna select this vertex right here and go up here. Proportional edit. You're gonna want to select any points that you're moving so i'm going to select these two all right and if you use the scroll wheel you can actually uh move the points around what you already have so this will give us a nice round cappy yeah and you'll see the the, the booty of the cappy sticks out a little bit so i'm going to add another loop cut down here i think i'm going to do the same thing i did before select these two points move that along the y-axis make them a little more round and then his little bottom over here. I think I'm going to just move that up a little bit. All right, so I'm just going to 
finish up with this dude over here. We're getting the, the general calf shape. I think he's looking a little thick right now, if I do say. So I'm just gonna go back up here, select any of these, move him over on the X axis. I think he, he's pretty round actually though. So, you know, we got, we got this other reference image. I think I'm just gonna open up another little window here. He's pretty, you can see he's pretty round from this view. And, and actually our head shape is looking pretty good. So I think, I think we'll, we'll keep it at that. Maybe, maybe the neck is a little extreme at the moment. So let's, let's move that over, but uh, we'll come back to that later. I think we just want to finish blocking in the, the general shape of our cappy bara boy over here. Move that in. We're getting close to a cappy bara. It's looking like the legs are going to protrude from like around where these vertices are. Maybe we'll add some loop cuts in there. Um, the thickness is pretty good. I think we need to make them a little more round. So we'll go back up here, turn on that pass through mode, round them out just a little bit. Yeah. I think that's looking a little better. Let's go back up here, maybe select these vertices and just, just move them in a little bit, you know. We, we we like a good thick capybara move that in a little bit move that in a little bit yeah now we're, we're looking round we're looking nice and round so let's uh maybe drag the booty out just a little bit more you know the, these are some round some round rodents all right i think our our cappy frame is looking pretty good let's let's check it out we can add the legs in i think that would be a good course of action for this next part think also maybe bring the tummy up a little bit they are around but they're not you know they, they, they've got to be able to pull up still we don't want to detract from their pull up abilities so now we want to start transitioning into popping onto the after party um i think with that we could add the little legos that we got here so let's let's do these front legs here i'm gonna do a little loop cut here add another one about the, the, the thickness of the legs. So we can go to face select actually. Let's add another little loop cut because we don't want we don't want his, their legs to be the entire thickness of the body, you know. We, so we've got this face right here. Let's go to face select up here, number three. So let's extrude this down, give it a little scaling, pulling up as one capybara may. I think we can go ahead and add the second leg. Go to a let's go to the back view. Let's check our perspective again. Yep, that's like a it's like a broken limb. Now it's a cappy limb. I think this front light could use a little more detail. Even though it is facing relatively just downwards, I think we could uh edit it just a little bit. Um, their legs are kind of yeah, they're weird looking. Um, so we can just we can just move this loop cut. I think that's pretty good. I think that's pretty good. We're just gonna use some some basic geometry. Let's just bring the 3D cursor down here, add in a cube. Remember we have our mirror mode on. We're just gonna add some basic little feet. You know, no one no one will be the wiser. It's just a little cappy, a little cappy with some little feet. A little cappy with some little feet never hurt nobody. You know. I think we could do the same thing on the back here, put our 3D cursor back there. Now our cappy's looking a little a little better. The feet are looking good. They're looking good. Um, our general capybara shape, I think, is complete. These are kind of looking like baby legs, but Capybaras are just big babies anyway. I think I think maybe there's a little fur hanging over here that I accidentally modeled. So let's just uh, so let's just select that there, and just just thin this guy up a bit. Yeah, I think I think that's pretty good. What's next? All right, we still got some more geometry to add before we can really uh, texture our capybara. So I think the last thing we got to do is the face. He's got a round head. He's got a round little head. Let's extrude that. Turn off proportional editing. Don't forget to do that. And there, there's a little bit of, of 
geometry inside of these ears. We could just kind of fake that, do a little inset, extrude inwards. Uh, we, we've got cap ears. Don't mind this geometry back here. It's it's not a big deal. It's not going to matter. We'll get we'll get through this together. Move this up just a little bit. Give him give him a sharper jawline. You know, Chad. We're looking for a Chad Capybara today. We're gonna go into our side view. Go into edit mode. We're gonna press U. We're gonna hit project from view. So let's go into rendered view. And you'll see our texture does not show up. So what we've got to do, let's get out of edit mode real quick. We're going to go to our materials and you see our cavi bar does not have any material. So let's call this cavi skin. And for the base color, what we're going to want to do actually, let's drag this up a bit, open our node editor and shaders. I'm sure there's an easier way to do what I'm about to do, but this is how I know how to do it. Let's open up an image texture. You can just press shift A to open that quick add menu. I'm going to align the color to base color. And you'll see this goes black because there's no image in there. So let's just find our image. All right, we've got our cappy image in there. So let's go into edit mode. And now we can really start working. So I'm just going to close this shader editor. I don't really need it anymore. There we go. All right, so we've got our general cappy shape. Uh, we've projected from view. So what, all we really have to do is uh, align our geometry. Let's just align our capybara here. And just, you know, it doesn't have to be perfect. We're working with an imperfect creature. Uh, actually, capybaras are they're pretty perfect, I'd say. Here we have our boy. And I think lastly, we could do Command T, make sure we select everything. Command T on that, uh, triangulate it, gives it an even more sort of low poly feel. Um, you see there's some weird there's some weird texturing happening over here. So I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go into overhead view, go back into edit mode, and I think I'm just gonna select these vertices right here. I'm gonna go unwrap, just unwrap that. Let's scale it down and just steal some texture from, from elsewhere. Okay, that looks a little weird. So I think we gotta maybe match it with everything else. That's looking better. It's low poly, it's cappy, you know, what What more could you really ask for? Let's select these vertices as well. Um, I think for the snout here, we kind of want just this solid color. So let's just hit that. All right, so we've got our capybara here. Uh, let's switch to, let's switch to cycles. All right, here's the orange capybara, the classic. I think, I think for this, we're going to need a quickly 3D model in orange. This should be super easy. We probably don't even need an image texture for that. I personally um, know what an orange looks like. Let's give it another subdivision. I'm going to inset this face right here. Select the center point. Drag it up. I think that looks orange enough. Scale along the Z. I think that looks pretty good. I think that's a good looking orange. So let's go into our top view. Align it with our cappy, side view, place it on his head, maybe make it a little bigger, put the orange on his head. I think, I think we're in business. I think we are in business. Now we've got our cappy, we just need to make him an environment. Let's shift S. Let's align the cursor to world origin. Make a plane. We can move our cappy up. And I think, I think what we really want is to keep our orange with our cappy. So let's select the cappy. All right, so I think what we wanna do is move our cappy out of the way so we can make him a little environment to sit in, a little pond, little hot spring. So it's gonna select the orange, select the cappy, right click, parent, object. Now anytime we move the cappy, we're moving everything. Let's scale this bad boy down. Let's check our camera. We don't need to make anything too large in scale. So I think let's save that. I think it's always good to apply scale. Kind of just something I've seen in a lot of tutorials and sometimes things get janky if you don't apply the scale. All right, let's make our floor really, let's make this bigger, let's make this bigger. Yep, apply scale. Make sure the little feet are all good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
So in this environment, we can see uh, he's got some babies with him. So maybe, maybe honestly, we give him some some kids. Only one of them really needs an arch on their head anyway. Shifty, tiny capybara. Just rotate them a little bit. We've got Cappy one and Cappy two. They're looking pretty tough. They're looking like they're about to pull up, I'd say. Pull up to the after party. I think it might actually be worthwhile to maybe, just for a little scenery, add some oranges here and there. Some, some solid composition. I think we also maybe want to give us a bit of rotation on maybe the Y axis, maybe the X axis, maybe the Z axis, just any axis that you prefer. All right, we've got a nice little environment going for our cabbies. I think the next thing that we want to do is actually maybe even add an HDRI for more realistic lighting. Let's see what our render looks like so far. Cabbies are looking good. They're looking good. They're looking like they're going to pull up to the after party at any moment. Um, and it's always good to be, be ready for them. So. I think what we want to do is get ready and add an HDRI. So if you don't know how to do that, there's a fancy old website called HDRI Haven. Actually, it's not called that anymore. It's called Poly Haven, uh, bless up. They've got free textures, free assets. I like using it for the HDRIs. Um, this is kind of just like a lighting map for your scene. So let's just find one that it looks like a capybara might be, might be perusing in. I think this one is looking pretty good. It's a little cloudy, so we're not getting that super exact lighting. So let's download that. All right, we've got our EXR file. Let's go back to Blender. Now what we want to do is go to our world th tab here. Down at color, we're going to go change that from color to environment texture. Everything turns purple. We don't want that, but what we do want is our EXR file. Now you can see we have some really nice even lighting. It might be a little too bright, but I, th I think it's looking pretty solid. We could maybe in the future add a little swimming pool, maybe give them even more cappy friends. Uh, but I think where we're at right now is definitely a good starting point. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, have fun pulling up to the after party. Okay, I pull up. How about after party? You and all your friends say they love it.